So in this video, we are going to see how we can implement authorizations in a Vaporous Full Application Programming Model. Authorization is the same concept which uh, is been there and uh, there is no difference in the Vaporous Full Application Programming Model as well. It is the same, we, we need an authorization object and uh, we check it and if it returns true then we show the options to the user and if it returns false then the options are not available to the user for different operations like create update delete or the instance operation as well authorizations in rap uh, can be defined in different ways so one is uh, global authorization so this global authorization is for all of the authorization checks for example you can define it at a global level so if we try to understand it uh, at a high level then the global level operation could be your create your update and delete on a business object so if you want to restrict anything or any user for these operations then you should go with global authorization and the global authorization is uh, can be implemented or can be defined in behavior definition by using authorization master and then inside bracket global now second type is instance authorization so once this global authorization is implemented there can be a requirement where uh, you need to add the authorization based on the instances so for example you have put an authorization on update or edit so user normal user or a, or a user with a specific role is not allowed to update the records but you also want to put a instance authorization for example if i take uh, a user is having multiple members in his team and uh, at a global level the edit is not allowed for that user but he can edit the information of all the members who belongs to his team so if this kind of authorization you want to implement you should go with the instance authorization now the third kind is uh, authorization check against the incoming values or the pre-checks so this pre-checks authorization we have already seen in one of our previous video now the main difference between the global authorization and instance authorization is the create is not available in the instance authorization but the update and delete you can put the authorization at a lower level as well this is the high level what and uh, how the authorization is available in a WordPress full application programming model. Now let's see how we can implement this uh, global authorization in this video. To implement the global authorization, we are again using our existing application. So let's run the application student so this is how our application look like and uh, we have different options available here set admitted create delete operation and if you click on one of the record you will see the details available here and you also have the delete and the edit button so in this video we will be seeing how to implement the global authorization and we will make a restriction on the edit operation so we will try to restrict the user to edit any record so we will be working on this button we will hide this button using the authorization using global authorization concept so go back and uh, one thing is uh, that edit button is activated or the edit operation is done when you click on this specific row okay so once we click on this it means we are coming on to the edit page if i click on this 
it becomes open for changing the values okay so discard and now let's implement the global authorization for edit operation for that we need to go to our behavior definition and uh, since we are defining it globally we have authorization master and uh, here we need to add a keyword global this will make the authorization available globally onto the application at the global level now as soon as you add this keyword here on the behavior definition line you will see an icon when you click on this you will say add missing method for operation global authorization of entity this in local class so let's double click on this and now it comes to our class behavior implementation class and you will see a new method which gets added here set get global authorizations so now whatever we are going to write we will be writing inside this new method and definition is also added over here now let's activate both the files at once and uh, select both the files and activate okay so our files are activated now we need to implement the authorization for this let's add a method here a new method so methods and uh, is update allowed this is our method name and this will have a a returning parameter which will be update allowed and the type would be above boolean okay now let's implement this method okay so now we got this method here implemented let's activate it this method we have created and uh, this method will return true or false if the update operation is allowed or not so basically what this method will contain is uh, will get your authorization object check how we did normally in the ABAP but uh, here I do not have any authorization object created so what we will do is we will be returning the parameter value as true or false returning parameter name is update allowed So what we will do is we will pass back true first and please do not use this like this in the production environment. This is just because I do not have the authorization object created. So we are just simulating the written value whether the authorization is allowed or not for the edit operation okay now let's activate our object is active and now we will be using this method inside the get global authorization method so this method will trigger as soon as you load the page as soon as you load your application or when you click onto one of the line items in our application so 
what we want to check here is whether the application is allowed for edit operation or not what we need to check here is if the requested authorization is update if i am asking for an update authorization behavior and then mk if this is on or if edit is there so either update or if there is any action which is called edit so this will be available on our object page when we click on to a line item so if if the update is requested or the edit operation is requested then in that case we will go inside this and then we will call our method is update allowed or not okay so now we will be checking if is update allowed is equal to true if this is true then what we are going to do is we are updating the result we are updating the result result update result is equal to authorization allowed okay and we also want edit to be allowed percent action and edit is allowed but if this is not true then we need to show or we need to call it authorization unauthorized unauthorized okay and uh, that's it our get global authorization method will be triggered and it will check if we are operating for edit mo update mode or edit mode and if it is an edit or update mode then it will go inside and it will call our method which basically will check for the authorization object but since i do not have any authorization object available that's why i am directly written it here as a true we will also check by changing it to false so if this is true it means it is allowed so edit operation will be available if this is false then edit operation should not be available to us okay so now let's activate and activate done and now let's refresh our application click on go so we are allowing the edit operation first okay let's see uh, we have the application loaded and now click on this so we have the edit operation available we are just simulating by passing it as a true but this value this variable will be updated by your actual authorization object now let's return a false here it means 
I do not op update auth allowed is false. So we should not see the edit button. Okay, let's go and uh, refresh. Click on go. See, now the edit operation is gone here. Now let's see what are the values we are getting in the debugger. Let's continue. So we put the breakpoint here and let's see how it is getting executed. Now if I click on any row, we got our debugger and uh, let's see the value of update. See it is coming 0, 01. We have seen in our last video of pre-checks, this 0, 01 means user has performed this operation or this value has been set it means it is going to update the records so if this is 0 1 and this is 0 1 so this is matching or you say edit is also on now go inside here and uh, is allowed so this will be let's go here f5 and this is returning false so allow not allowed and come out of here f6 so now it is unauthorized so if it is unauthorized we are not showing the buttons available and we are not seeing the edit button if we see any other record we are not seeing the edit button here as well so this is how we can implement the global authorization in a WordPress full application programming model. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.